Okay, today we're going to do a tutorial on how to use the Fan Cafe chat rooms. Teach you a little bit about what the buttons do, um, how to get in, and what you can expect once you've gotten in. So first you're going to want to go to your internet browser and you're going to open up the B1A4 Fan Cafe page. And once you're at the Fan Cafe page, you're going to go over here to your user identification, click on the button, and there you'll see your nickname as you currently have it, information about your account, your level, and for those of you who are new Banner third generation um, and have applied to get your uh, VIP upgrade, uh, as we showed you how to do in the previous tutorial, this is what your face will look like once you get that upgrade, and this is what your level will look like. Uh, they have already started doing the upgrades. Um, we got ours starting yesterday morning, so they should be getting to all of us pretty quickly. Um, anyway, for the Fan Cafe, you're going to scroll all the way down, and this is the chat box. This right here is the list of everyone that's currently available online to chat. And this is the link that will take you into the chat room list of all public chat rooms. Click on that link. This is the chat room list. Currently there's only one public chat room available and that is ours. We will be trying to keep this chat room available 24-7 uh, so that at any time you can pop in. Um, we might not always be there, uh, but we are trying to keep at least a couple of people in there all the time just to say hi to people. Um, if you click on this button, you will enter the chat room. If you click on this button, you can actually create your own chat room. And just for instructional purposes, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can get in and create your own chat room. All right, once you've clicked this button, this is your setup for your chat room. You can click here and you can enter any name to 20 characters that you'd like as long as there's no profanity used. This next option is actually the membership level that you want to allow in your room. You can set it to associate member, which is the very, very newbie member or higher. You can set it to leveled up member, which are members that aren't official BANA but have answered the questions and have been able to level up to see the information inside some of the chat or in some of the bank cafe. Um, or you can choose special member, which is the VIP status for official BANA and up. We will be keeping our room, uh, BIU's room, at associate member and higher so that anyone that isn't either official BANA or hasn't been able to complete the level up is able to visit us and say hi. Your next option is either a public chat room, which is this one, or a private chat room. I'm going to go with public. And this next option is how many people you want to allow in that room. Um, 10 is what they set as the standard to begin with, but you can choose anywhere from 2 to 100. We're going to choose 100. And this next option is a little bit more fun. <laughs> Uh, currently what's clicked is the standard backgrounds option and you can choose any one of these standard backgrounds for the background of your chat room. I actually really like this one so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. However, if you want to have a little more fun, this option allows you to upload your own picture as the background for the chat room. Now I will tell you it has to be 770 pixels wide, it can't be larger than 1 meg, and make sure you use something that's very very light colored. Uh, we played around with it, used a few different pictures, had fun, but we couldn't read the chat properly when we tried um, because all of our pictures were darker or had the boys, um, so it didn't really work very well. If you've got a picture you want to use that's mostly white with maybe a uh, shinu or something standing off to the side, uh, you're welcome to try that, see if the text is still readable. But my personal opinion is go ahead and select one of the basic backgrounds. Now if you want to go ahead and upload a picture, this button here, you click it, it will ask you to choose your file. So you can go ahead and choose your file from there and upload it. Once you've chosen your background, if you click this button, it will create the chat room.
and this is what your chat room is going to look like once you've created it. Now I'm going to close this and delete that chat room and we're going to go ahead and go visit Arbana International United chat room. Okay, this is our current BIU chat room. As you can see, we've got a couple of people in there right now. Uh, most of us are using our PC and we are actually able to change our nicknames in the chat room only um, to BIU whatever our admin name is. Um, I actually changed mine permanently and most of us will be changing our permanent nicknames to all begin with BIU. So if you see somebody logged in that says BIU in the very front, you know you're talking to a BIU admin and you are welcome to tag us, ask us questions, or just say hello. Um, but right now, if you'll notice, over here, next to Monica Mouse, is this little blue box. That actually indicates that she is the owner of the room. However, that ownership can be transferred. Um, and I will show you how to do that in just a moment. But currently, I'm gonna ask for it back but before we do that okay so we're gonna go ahead and go over some of the options available to you when you're in your chat room uh, the first button is over here if you click this it gives you two options that you can turn on or off the first one will allow you to refuse whispers which is private messages uh, the second one turns off the background click that button that picture will go away and you're back to a white background I like that background. Uh, the second button is next to your name right here. This actually is only available to you if you are on the PC. If you are on the mobile Dom Cafe chat, you will not see this option. However, if you click this, it allows you to change the nickname only in the chat room. So you don't have to permanently change your nickname. You can type in here, and I just added spaces just to make it look a little nicer. All right, the next option you've got is where your little face icon is. If you click this, you've got options here to choose to let people know what you're currently doing. This first option just is what is normally set, which is you're available online. Your second option basically is like an AFK or away from keyboard. Your third option is unavailable. Your fourth option is on the phone. And this option basically says you are out to lunch. Um, you can choose any of these and set your status so that anyone that pops up, if they see the red or the blue, they'll know you might not be available at the moment. Okay, your next button is over here. This is actually an invite button for people that are available to chat. If you click on this button, anybody that is not hidden privately will be in this list. And you can click on someone and you can type in a message right here to them like hi join me over here let's talk about B1A4 um, or if you don't want to go through because sometimes when you come on this list is mighty long if you don't want to go through that entire list if you're looking for somebody in particular and you know their name or if you actually in this case want to just look up like BIU members if you just type in BIU and click search now we're all in chat right now so you're not going to see us any BIU members that aren't currently in a chat room will be listed right there and you just click this button to go ahead and send that invitation to them all right next on the list is currently I am not the room moderator so these are the options I get when I click on someone this first option is to send them a whisper which is a little tiny private message that just pops up here in the lower part of this screen without removing you from the chat without creating another chat it's just a little private tell the section option which doesn't seem to be working right now and I'm not sure why actually allows you to click and pull up the members data information um, we're still unsure why this isn't working this actually says to contact the cafe moderator um, which would be in this case Monica Mouse but we still haven't figured it out so hopefully we're gonna figure that out so that you can look at someone's information in 
order to favorite someone or put them on a friends list, if you go to their profile, you'll see where you can click on a little star. And that's why we're hoping we can get this working because then if you find someone in this list that you want to favorite, um, a new Korean banner that you've had fun talking to that can speak English well, or someone that's helping you learn Korean, if you can go to their member ID, then you can look them up over here and click that star and favorite them right away. So we're working on that. But until that time, in order to favorite someone, you can just copy that name, paste it in Notepad or wherever you want to, and then later you can go onto the Fan Cafe and do a search for your members or search for the member's name and pull up their information and go ahead and click that little star button. This third option is to see the members post that they've posted, but I haven't gotten it to work quite yet. This next option is to open a one-on-one -on -one chat uh, with someone individually. And this last option is actually to report someone for either abuse or um, harassment, anything like that. So those are the options available to you in that drop down menu as a non moderator for the room. Down here, you've got a few buttons. This will allow you to change your fonts. This will allow you to change font size, bold, underline, italic, and font color. This actually gives you a bunch of little emoticons that you can use. There's several different ones. You click on all the tabs, you the emoticons. This button here actually saves a chat log. It will download a chat log of everything that's in the chat room so that you can view it later. And this button over here allows you to leave. This is your submit button. If you want to actually click the button once you've typed your message here into the chat room, you can click right there. Okay, that's it for a non-moderator as far as buttons. Let me go ahead and get moderator status back. Okay, as you see, I have gotten moderator status back. Now our options will change slightly when we click on a member. Now we have a few more members options. Your first few options are still the same, but now we've got three more added. This one allows you to transfer the ownership of the room to someone else. This one actually sets it so that anytime this person comes into the room, it alerts you. And this last one is a kind of a nasty button. This will kick them not only from the chat room, but will kick them from joining any chats for a period of time. Um, so use that very, very, very sparingly. And that's pretty much it for your chat tutorial. Um, once you're in the chat room, if you are the moderator, you'll see this button pop up. And this will take you back to the room settings that we went to originally. and will allow you to change things while you're actually in the room. So that's it, and we hope you join chat soon and have fun chatting with both the Korean banner and the International banner.